Uh, great to have you with us. Our top story at this hour is more bank earnings from key players, Royal and National, out with results that were crowd pleasers this morning. Our next guest is a longtime National Bank investor, and let's get his perspective on what both Royal and National had to say. Barry Schwartz is Chief Investment Officer and Portfolio Manager at Baskin Wealth Management. Barry, always great to have you with us here on BNM Bloomberg. Thanks for your time. John, thanks for having me. So we are... Uh, Chugging along here in Canadian bank earnings season, now that we've got a number of players that reported, I guess upwards of five at this point, what are some of your takeaways here? Well, if we can stick with National for a second, these were just stunning results. Unlike Royal, where the earnings beat was primarily due to taxes and uh, the drop in uh, provision for loan losses, which we can talk about in a, in a few minutes, but uh, National's results were a clean, very strong beat. All of its franchises reported very strong double-digit revenue growth. So this was a top-line beat, and this is, you know, unlike Royal, uh, National raises provision for loan losses and is also somewhat worried about the interest rate outlook because it is hedging its Canadian Western Bank uh, interest sensitivity, and and so much more conservative approach yet really knocked the doors off and i guess you can see from the market reaction i mean national is now a double over the last five years uh you know beating up all other canadian banks royal is the second best performing bank but you know in canadian banking there's quality and then there's cibc bmo and and scotia and that, and that's uh what's been happening and it's and that hasn't been john for one year or two years that's been for going on now probably 10 years so uh, just uh just a big difference in the performance the management uh, at uh, royal and national versus all other canadian banks and when national announced that acquisition of canadian western bank and we immediately saw some weakness in national shares i'll remind our audience you said you saw that as an opportunity to uh, remain bullish on national and the stock has definitely been trending higher. Um, just to get a little bit more specific, what is it operationally you think that they have done that stands out versus other banks? Well, you know, all banks have missteps and we can remember at one point National Bank during the financial crisis, it got locked in, into problems. So uh, some of it is some of it is just luck and to being in the right places and avoiding mistakes or i mean is, is td of course some of the with such a big bank the anti-money laundering issues that happen you can't always follow every single issue when you're running in a bank with many thousands of employees but it's clear to us that from national royal first of all they have tremendous capital markets and wealth management franchises just way better than all the other canadian banks the second thing they both have is a, great efficiencies uh, in terms of their non-interest expenses they run a lean and mean shop both banks uh smart acquisition look at the uh, royal bank's acquisition of hsbc showed in the results tremendous already and its capital is already ready to go in terms of it, it it has too much again so it can start buying back shares national has leading capital excess capital but that's going to change of course it when it closes the canadian western bank acquisition uh you know i just think just very strong leadership at the top they've made very few mistakes recently sticking to their knitting National's kind of a weird bank because they've got investments in this G, which is you know, commercial loans in the U.S. They've got uh, a Cambodian investment, but that's worked out tremendous. And we really think, uh, thank you for that about the Canadian Western Bank. We really think that uh, National is going to, uh, this is the best time that National could have picked to acquire Canadian Western Bank. Interest rates are falling. Uh, we think Alberta is going to be booming going forward because it's just so much more affordable to live there. And uh, National is just strong operators. So all those things come together to really show why those two are the quality banks in Canada. The, the growth in Alberta is a, it's a great point, and we shouldn't uh, uh, underplay that part of the Canadian economic story. Speaking of deals, you know, Royal, obviously, with some, some good timing in getting a deal done for HSBC's Canadian assets. Uh, the stock today uh, is trading at an all-time high, uh, and whether you're invested in Royal or not, uh, the stock makes up almost 7% of the TSX alone. So uh, there's a good chance that you are directly or indirectly in, invested in that franchise. But you did talk about loan loss provisioning, which is something we always have to talk about with the Canadian banks. Um, what did you see when you took a closer look at the royal numbers? Well, here's the biggest bank in Canada, and one of the biggest banks now in the world, telling you all is clear. 
essentially what I think they're telling us by lowering loan loss provisions, whereas BMO increased them, TD's got its own problems, uh, uh, Nationals and uh, Scotia's ticked up a little bit. I think what Royal's telling you is we see lots of rates cu rate cuts coming. We haven't seen a lot of problems with interest rates where they are today, so why should we expect uh, – problems to occur going forward and the commercial market has been fine uh, the housing market has been fine so if royals uh lowering its loan ops provisions we could see all other banks in the next few quarters follow its lead if the biggest bank in canada is telling you all is clear uh then that means that bank earnings in 2025 could be way better than expected uh given the decrease in loan loss provisions so that's something to watch for okay well something else to watch for barry is what happens with interest rates which you just talked about